So clothing optional is a, our pale ale at DraftWorks, and it's very much a traditional English style pale ale. Um, this beer came about for us because myself and my business partner um, are just keen on English pale ales. The market um, very much has a drive for the American pale ale. The big difference there is American, meaning the hop varieties tend to be citrus, grapefruit, uh, kind of a tropical fruit type hop character. A traditional English style pale ale uses hop varieties that tend to be much more herbal and earthy in character. The malt backbone, or as some would call kind of the body of the beer, as opposed to the hops being the soul of the beer, the malt body of the beer has a nice uh, caramel malt backbone. So there's a, a, a kind of a light um, caramel-like malt sweetness that plays very nicely with the uh, earthy and herbal hop character. It's got a medium body, so it's, um, it's not overly sweet or cloying, uh, quite easy to drink. Um, the bitterness and the sweetness are very, very well balanced. And what I mean by that is the sugar content of the beer and the bitterness from the hops balance each other to a point where when you drink it, it doesn't seem, um, it's hard to pick out if it's bitter or sweet because they cut each other very nicely. We do a lot of research and we start with the water. So our water source in Missoula, we took a look at Burton-on-Trent in England water and we add salts and, min and minerals to the Missoula water to mimic the water you would find in England. And this is the birthplace of this beer style. So we're truly starting with a water profile of, of that uh, beer's home. And then we also went straight to the source with the hops. We import Fuggle and Golding hops, which are traditional hops used in an English pale ale, which give that earthy and herbal hop character. It makes for an excellent food pairing beer, and uh, chefs really like this beer. It does not overpower a food dish, and food dishes, whether spicy or more on the delicate fish side, um, can hold up to this beer. So it's a, it's a kind of your everyday, very sessionable style ale. Um, the name is fun. Jerry Johnson Hot Springs is a popular hot springs for Missoulians uh, right, right over the Idaho border. Um, there were old Forest Service signs up all the time that said clothing optional. People stole them all the time. And so we just thought it was a very fun name with a local tie. Um, and, and thought it was, we try to keep our names humorous and light. And, um, you know, beer, making beer is a science. The consumption side and getting involved in that is fun. This is not brain surgery. And so our naming philosophy is, is um, you know, very light, fun, and humorous.